This week, calculate invoice due dates. Alright, so here we have uh, invoice numbers, the date of the invoice, and then terms. <laughs> oh, then this is tricky because it's stored as text. We want to calculate the invoice due date. Normally, it would just be equal the date plus uh, the terms if the terms were stored nu numerically, but it's not. So I'm going to use equal mid, mid of C2, comma, and let's see, we're going to start in position 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and for a length of 2. Now, in this case, net 7, there's uh, only one character available, but that's okay. So now we're actually taking a date and adding a text number, but Excel is going to convert the text number to a number, so it's going to convert it to 7. And sure enough, 9-23-2013 is 7 days after September 16th. Double click to copy that down, and we're good to go. Now, the one thing that you have to watch out for here is sometimes when you create this formula, it uh, gets formatted as a number, and you get uh, answers in this range, 41. 540. When you see that happen, it's the right answer, just the wrong format. Come back here and change it to a short date and you're good to go.